to create a simple photo shoot backdrop, we're simply going to come up here and click Add Mesh Plane. And then we're going to use our gizmo to scale up this plane a little bit. Now we're going to come up here to our edit mode. We're going to click on object and click on edit mode. And we're going to select two. We're going to hold down shift and select two of the corners of this plane. Then we're simply going to push E. Now, as we can see, that is going to extrude this edge. If we click Z, it's going to extrude it along the vertical axis. So that's what we want to do. We want to go ahead and extrude it like this along the vertical axis. So now we have a shape like this. We can come over here and jump back into object mode. And then we're going to apply a modifier called beveling. So in a nutshell, modeling in Blender usually starts with adding some sort of mesh as our base and then entering edit mode to refine the model. We can also add what's known as modifiers to farther refine a model, and we can do that by clicking on the object, coming over here to this wrench, and then clicking Add Modifier. Now there's a lot of different modifiers, and you know you could use Blender for years and still not know what they all do, that's completely okay. But to demonstrate making this into a photo shoot background, I'm going to use the modifier called Bevel. Now when I click on Bevel, you're going to see it bevels this edge right here. Now, if I increase the amount and increase the segments, what it's doing is it's creating this smooth transition here between one side and the other, which is exactly what I want for a photo shoot background. Now, I can leave it like this if I think I'm going to edit it farther in the future, but if I'm happy with this and want to lock in this bevel change, I'm going to simply click this and apply. Now it's no longer a modifier, now it actually is this object. So basically modifiers are temporary editing and if you want to solidify the changes you have to apply.